Let's, let's explore more what it means uh, for DraftKings itself. Barry Jonas uh, from Tourist Securities joins us. Uh, is this a game changer for, for, for DraftKings, Barry? Look, I think it's a positive, but it, I'd be hard pressed to say game changer. He's not on the board. He's not a sponsor. He's a special advisor to the board. There are regulatory limitations that could influence how impactful he could be here as well. So look, it's helpful. The market's saying about a billion dollars at one point today. The market was the DraftKings was flat, but uh, certainly it adds an air of credibility to a space which, as you say, was at one point an outcast. It will be interesting to see if. Larry Bird, Isaiah Thomas, one of his uh, you know, longtime competitors, peers, signs up with, it, with uh, one of DraftKings competitors at some point. I mean, to me, it also just underscores this, this whole market, which is just so sensitive to headline risks, and especially positive headlines like this and flashy headlines. And DraftKings in particular, Barry, around everything happening with sports right now and MLB's games getting canceled and the stock losing 13%. How, how do you how do you trade this name right now when it's so it, it's it's proven itself so sensitive to all these short term headlines and noise? Look, I, I think institutional investors are very cautious. We launched this morning with a hold rating and not much pushback, but clearly retail investors are somewhat enamored by the name. That said, as we start seeing series of catalysts, whether they're positive or negative, the volatility is going to rise. You know, later this month, you have Penn's Barstool app coming. That could threaten market share. You've got COVID obviously always out there. Come October, November, I think 60% of DraftKings float is removed from uh, restrictions and could hit the market. So it's going to be a bumpy ride for sure. And ultimately, we're talking about a thesis that's going to be 10 years in the making. That's when they'll make money. That's when they'll hit their longer term targets. So, uh, you know, definitely a bumpy ride ahead. Barry, thanks so much for joining us. Much appreciated.